This is a Chucky Beat production. production. Tonight, we are going to witness the most anticipated match in the history of professional wrestling. What? Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. Hey, what is up everyone? And welcome back to another Carib Fusion video. So basically, what you just saw on the outset is me echoing the disappointment that most people are feeling right now, especially when it comes to the fact that we're thinking, okay, we're gonna get uh, a nice lyrical clash going here and kind of see what Popcorn come with and then it comes with a girl tune. The song itself is actually really good, to be honest, and it's not, not a disc. For alkaline um, however um, this is not a review of the song at all this is more me talking about strategies in dancehall and different elements of war tactics which this is one of them so by not answering to the two songs that alkaline has put out popcorn is basically asserting himself and i'm gonna explore that and explore a few other things so stay with me one of the things that you know when you're worrying a man like I mentioned in the death to microwave review that I did yesterday is that one of the key elements besides being unique in your lyrical um, delivery you also have to make sure that you're not just saying you're the baddest man but you also want to humiliate the person who you're dissing and not answering actually does that now if you think about it alkaline has systematically not answered a lot of other people who you know there's probably about 10 diss tracks out right now you know um for alkaline which he hasn't responded to and the most prominent one is tommy lee and people are saying well you know how come you don't answer you know you're answering popcorn but you're not answering tommy lee why is it a, um, you know people have various reasons why he's not answering or, or whatever um but for the most part by not answering you by you ignoring that person it actually leaves them to feel really shitty so is popcorn doing the same thing back to him and we were i was having this conversation with someone in the comment section previously you know is popcorn giving alkaline a dose of his own medicine you know this not answering you know not answering people and kind of leaving them to just continue doing their thing is he now doing that well that makes a lot of sense to do that while using that in your arsenal of war to say you know what may not have to deal with you because you're not, you're not on my level or whatever, you know, whatever dialogue you want to go with. You know, a lot of people are saying, well, actually, you are the one that said, you know, stray dog. So why now after singing a song like that, not answering, you know, why not follow up? And there might be a, a plethora of reasons why. A lot of people are saying, you know, Popcorn, a runway from the war. But I think this is actually uniquely strategic. And here is why. peeps I want you guys to stay with me on this one and kind of understand my reasoning on this and where I'm coming from none of this is for this any artist or anything like that but this is just my understanding of things and also me trying to make sense of the strategies that both artists have put in place to basically make sure that they stay the good the man on top so in my review of stray dog um, towards the end of that video um, I spoke about the strategies that alkaline had put in place so one of the things I mentioned in that video in fact I'll leave a link to that video so you can hear what I was basically saying but what alkaline had done when he was about to drop his album, he basically started to throw shots at, at Popcorn. Now, a lot of people say, you know, Popcorn started, but from on, on paper, Alkaline started it because he was the one who said, I don't see where some man I'm under meds, but I just couldn't put no bubbles in my head. Now, previously to that, when you think about it, a lot of the times people used to put Tommy Lee, Gage, and Alkaline together in that group. You know what I'm saying? After he started to throw shots at popcorn people started to put him and popcorn together so it became a situation of likeness you put people in a group according to their likeness and one of the ways that someone can start to associate themselves with someone is by dissing them here's a perfect example who is gold god somebody tell me who is gold god now i know of gold god probably about two two years ago he did a few good songs to be honest but people are now hearing about this gold god philip 2k because he's now dissing alkaline 
Before that, he used to emulate alkaline, you know, basically alkaline shadow. He used to do the whole thing, the contact lens, you name it. No one cared. Now he started to throw shots at alkaline. People are listening. His songs are getting, you know, 10,000 views. His other songs that he had up for two years, you know what I'm saying, getting 2,000 views at maximum. Or probably a little bit more. I'm, I'm probably not being fair. But he, you know what I'm saying, he wasn't getting that much. When you start to target someone, you start to become... Basically, you associate yourself. So you associate yourself by likeness. So the moment that Alkaline started to throw shots at Popcorn in his song City, yes, it created a buzz for the song City and for his album, but it also put Alkaline and Popcorn together in conversation. So no longer were people saying, you know, Alkaline, Popcorn, and Gage, uh, Alkaline, Tommy Lee, and Gage. They were now saying Popcorn versus Alkaline. And that started the whole threat trend from 2016 to what we see now. To me, that is why the song Stray Dog, or um, Popcorn making the song Stray Dog, made sense in the fact that he's saying that you're straying, you're around us, we don't want you around us, you know, where did you come from? And that was, I hope you're understanding where I'm coming from. That is probably the reason why he made the shot at Alkaline. There's probably more to the story, but if you look at it from song to song to song, you know what I'm saying? They're being consistently put together when Popcorn probably didn't want them to be put together. You understand what I mean? But by dissing the right people, you actually associate yourself with those people. So by dissing, you know, and, and that's the other thing I mentioned too, when Alkaline first came out on the scene, every artist I wrote, I said, yo, big up Vibes Cartel. Where are those people now? <laughs> and you have to think about it, guys. When you say big up Vibes Cartel, the person you big up is the person that people's attention is gonna go to. Alkaline came out and said, well, yeah, you know, golly. And that is why people started to look at him different. You know what I mean? So again, by going after Popcorn, you know what I'm saying? And Popcorn is more established. Popcorn has years and experience over Alkaline. So by going against him in the first instance, he set himself up to be seen as different because he wanted, you know what I'm saying, to be up there, to be his name to be put with somebody on a different ranking who's more internationally renowned. I'm hoping what I'm saying is making sense. You know what I'm saying? Dissing the right person puts you in their category. Now, if you think about what's happening now with Tommy Lee and even Gold God again and so forth, what the, the difference with Tommy Lee is that Tommy Lee is not looking a boss. Tommy Lee is an established artist with his own fan base. You know what I'm saying? The year that he had last year wasn't the best because loads of legal issues and other things were happening. But towards the end, you know, he was on tour and so forth. You know what I'm saying? But then what this has done, this feud or even, you know, even calling Alkaline's name or even feuding with anyone at this moment in time, people are saying, yeah, man, see the Tommy leader we would know my life is soon spitfire because all we are going in the people. As much as we want to be like, be like we're good, nice, upstanding people, we like the foolishness more time. <laughs> Tell me if I like. We like to hear, you know, we like to see the potential of the people who will back. We want to know so if, you know, push come to shove in a lyrical war because this is their bread and butter and this is our entertainment. When it comes down to it, them can back it. And with Tommy Lee, you can see that. You know, the last couple of songs that him sing, a lot of people say, yo, my artist, you know what I'm saying? People are beginning to enjoy what he does and seeing the old Tommy Lee that they're used to as well. So for Tommy Lee, you know, whether or not Alkaline answers, it doesn't even matter. It's done. People don't see what, um, um, you know, Tommy Lee is capable of. And here's another thing, another art of war. Even if the person does not answer, Tommy Lee has already made his statement. Because guess what? Everybody, what are they saying? You know, Alkaline or coward. So that is a statement that he has made without actually saying it out of his mouth. You know what I'm saying? He's basically saying, look, the boy can't even answer me. So, again him set back that that president in his fan base for say look and me still run the streets and me still at the man at the top you understand what i mean so even without alkaline even answering alkaline doesn't actually need to answer tommy lee make him point already and him re-establish himself in certain ways you know what i'm saying because yes he's been doing his thing internationally but everybody knows that at jamaica it counts you know for have that recognition the street cred as it were so if you go back down now to what Popcorn's doing now, he has literally threw a spanner into the works. You know, a lot of people say, yo, Popcorn, what go on with it? What did this song there? This is a classic strategic line. He's basically showing you one, you can't push me until I'm with you. You can't call me down. You know, you can't give me a time scale and say, 
answer song, you know what I'm saying? He's unruly after all. So that's another thing, you know what I'm saying? If somebody calls you out in war, do you have to? The answer is no. So, you know, popcorn is basically throw a spanner in the works. The light is now firm, you know, fixedly, fixedly firmed? <laughs> is that a word? No, that's not a word. It's for, the, the light is on popcorn. People want to know him, I do. You know what I'm saying? So, again, he's gotten the spotlight. And that's all a part of it. Everybody in the music industry, whether or not they want to tell you that face-to-face, -face, having people look at you, having people talk about you, having people being interested in what you're going to do next is the most important thing. And that is why most people, not just dancehall, but for the sake of this channel, dancehall, stir up controversy to then, you know, go back into your shell, to then come out with something new is keeping us on edge the listeners the buyers of the music the consumers i guess and that is a part of the strategy so everything that you're seeing happening now is i think all a part of the game of dancehall and they're playing it and we are singing to it <laughs> guys that is it for me if you like the video just give it a thumbs up for me if you didn't like the video then also let me know um, in the comment section down below if there's something you thought that I missed or if there's something I could have added then please hit me up in the comment section also in the meantime if you like to you can follow me on Instagram at carfusion TV all right then guys later peace <laughs>